Welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm your host, Kelly Thomas, and I'm going to help you to make your crochet business dreams a reality, stitch by stitch, without you being chained to your hook and being able to live that lifestyle you've been dreaming of using the power of your crochet. Let's talk about merchandise as a profit stream idea. So having your own branding, having your own crochet business gives you the opportunity to create merchandise and general crochet related items to sell to your audience. Think hoodies with crochet related image or um, quote on it. On it. It could be pens and pencils with your brand name on, notebooks, um, ball caps, cushions, bags. There's a huge option available to you. This idea works better once you've got an established audience and you've got quite a number of people following you. It works best if you have a catchphrase or sort of a cartoon character as a logo or as a mascot for your business or you can just keep it generalized crochet related crochet related graphics um yarn common crochet themed sayings like you know ask me something while i'm counting i'm just going to count louder you know things like this you see them all the time and i'm sure you've seen plenty on social media and on pinterest these are the type of things that you're aiming for. Something that people would want on something to own or wear. And this is what merchandising is. Now, I played with this a little bit in my business, but it was never something that I really focused on. But it's, it's cute and it's quirky. And if you have the right audience, if you have the right following, it can be really successful. Some people make a full business out of merchandising, but then it's not... Your brand backing it is having generalized themed clothing or items for sale. Does this mean that you crochet for a living? No, it means you have a crochet related something. It's a, a great add-on if you do have um, these characters or your catchphrase that people are, you know, love hearing me say and you are recognized by. But as a crocheter, probably unlikely that you want to make this your full-time income. But it is a nice little add-on. So if you create videos for YouTube or TikTok and you have what you wear visible, then wearing one of your own sort of hoodies or t-shirts that you have available for sale is a great way of getting sales because people will ask where you got your t-shirt from. And you say, oh, you can buy them here. You give them the link and they go buy and there you go. Profit in the bag. It's a bit more out there when it comes to crochet related income ideas, but it's a quirky one and it is something that your followers would be interested in. So as I said, I play with this a little bit. I have my own um, hoodies with my little character that I use at my pattern business, Frogsy Frog. I've got my little frog. I love my hoodie. I've got my own hoodie that I wear. I don't show it very often in videos just because I don't make those type of videos. But it's something that I love. And if I'd made more of an effort with it, I probably could have made it a nice little income stream, but I just never put the effort into promoting it. It was something that I tried out and it's kind of on the back burner. And probably one day I'll bring it back. I just don't have time right now. But creating these designs is fairly easily done in Canva. Um, and then you have two options. You can either put money up front and buy stock, which of course means that you have to have a huge cost up front, have stock then sitting around that has to be stored, and then if you don't sell it, you're out of pocket. The better option, in my own opinion, is print on demand. Print on demand is getting much much bigger and much easier to access 
And it's basically where you upload your designs into a third party. And there's several available like um, Spreadshop and um, Printify, amongst others. You create your own sort of shop on their site. And if somebody orders, they print the item and then they post it out. So you have no stock. Cost per item, print on demand is more expensive, but it's far less hassle for you. And it's just a nice little side gig. If you are worried about having a source of income when you are unable to crochet for whatever reason, or just want to take time off, having something like merchandise through print on demand methods is a way of getting that recurring income because all you have to do once you've created your um, image or graphic that's going to go on the merchandise is you promote it. It's much easier to get to promote these things if you have your own photos, if you own it yourself. But you have so many options on these sites. They offer so many different things that you can add your image to that you're spoiled for choice. And if you end up having this huge product range, you can't possibly buy them all yourself. Um, but select items. If you buy some select items out of that product range for yourself and you can show them in videos, you can take your own photos, you can give an honest review about the quality and what it looks like because these sites don't use real photos to promote. They use mock-ups and that's where they just impose your image onto a blank photo. So it, it often doesn't look quite true to life and you can usually tell when something's a mock-up rather than the real thing. So having the real thing yourself so that you can make videos and genuine photos goes a long way to help sell these products yourself because you have to do all the promotion. The print on demand site does not do that for you. You have to do it. You have to do it with your, yourself on your own sites, your own socials, your own website, perhaps, but it's all down to you. And you promote it like you would anything else in your crochet business. You tell your audience about it. You tell them where to, they can buy and click the link. And you promote it wherever you promote your own crochet. It's, yes, it does take effort. But again, once you create the images or you, and load it onto the print and demand site, all you have to do is promote. And everything else is taken care for you. All the actual creation of the items and the postage is all down to the site. Whether this is something you wish to do is going to be a personal decision. Whether you want to have the merchandise, whether that's something that fits with your brand. It fits with mine because I've got a little cartoon character. And she's a crochet-based character. She's a frogging frog. She holds a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. And she's rather cute if I do so so myself. And so it makes sense to have her as a character that I can use in merchandise. The name of my brand isn't on there. It's just the character. And it's a rather cute inside joke for a crocheter. So it does make sense to have it as part of my business. However, if you are only selling what you make and you don't have a catchphrase or a character, it's going to be a bit more difficult to fit it in. You would have to go with general crochet graphics. The ball of tangled yarn. Ball bags. That's one that's fairly common now. Um, it's just a tote bag with a graphic of a ball of yarn and it's your ball bag for your yarn and it's, it's a nice little joke. Uh, there are quite a few crochet jokes around, really, aren't there? It's, um... But if you, you know, create these things, then you can have them as an additional source of income. But selling what you make, you've got to make it fit with your niche. So if you're selling wedding favours, perhaps you can find little wedding favour bags to put your favours in that you could 
add as an additional item for sale. You know, wedding favours, you turn something quite large amounts, you know, 50 to 100. That's quite a big order for print on demand. Um, but it's something you could offer. If you sell kids' hair bows, crocheted hair accessories, is there something you can find that you could personalise to store the bows in? It's, it may take some imagination to figure out what would work for you, but there are tons of options available. Hats, bags, t-shirts, um, hoodies, I've seen bomber jackets, um, cushions, mugs, uh, drinks, tumblers, notebooks, mouse mats. The list is endless. There's baby grows, there's aprons, no cooking aprons. Um, it's a massive list of what they make available. You know, you can have stickers and the list goes on. It's a bit of something different. It's not the usual way of making an income from your crochet. You are not required to crochet to create these lines of merchandise. So if you have a little side hobby of life and playing around with graphics and just want something else to promote as um, a backup option, if you are unable to crochet, then it's a great idea. But you have to decide for yourself whether it's going to fit in with your business, whether it makes sense for you to have it. If it feels random to your followers, then you're probably not going to have much success. If you are selling crochet-related merchandise, but your followers are not crocheters because they are buying wedding favours or um, nursery decor from you, it's not going to make sense. It's actually going to be a second business. And a second business means a second audience, and it's a whole new set of work. To keep it simple, you need these items to appeal to your existing audience. But only you can work out if that fits and if you can find some of the items that are available that what your audience would be interested in and what graphic that would have on it. The picture or the image, the text, whatever is on that item, would that appeal to your audience and would they buy it? So merchandise can be a nice little prop profitable side gig in your crochet business. But yeah, it's a bit more unusual. It's, it takes initial work to set up, but it can be a nice backup option for some income when you want to take time off or need to put your hook down for a while. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about this as an option. Um, it is one of those more obscure ways of bringing income into your crochet business but if you have a little character or you have a catchphrase it can be you know quite a intriguing option to your followers and they may well love it and want to buy some of those items for themselves you never know thank you for joining me for this episode of the crochet business school podcast stay tuned for more episodes and please subscribe to wherever you listen to your podcast. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Crochet Business School. Subscribe to the channels because I would love to hear from you and what you're up to in your own crochet business. If you have any questions about creating and growing your own crochet business, please send them my way and I'll answer them in future episodes. So thank you for joining me and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye for now.